For cheap NBA 2K21 MT, make sure y'all boys hit up NBA 2K King and use code JR for 5% off at checkout. If you guys need your badges maxed out fast and legit, hit up Star Grinders on Twitter or Instagram and tell them JR sent you. Their links will be in the description down below. Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy JR and y'all boys know I'm back with another banger and in this video we have the best working NBA 2K21 badge glitch that is still currently working. Make sure y'all boys take advantage of this glitch ASAP because this is probably going to be the best badge glitch of NBA 2K21. This still works after patch 2. You guys know patch 3 is coming very soon. So if you guys are looking to make a new player, this glitch is going to be super OP. But like I said, make sure you guys take advantage of it before it does get patched. Also, shout out to the homie JJ2K for letting me use his footage in this video. Make sure y'all boys go drop him a sub and then uh, make sure y'all boys also drop a sub and hit that like button as well thank y'all boys so much for all the support man it really means a lot and with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and get right into the video so look step number one of this glitch is what you guys want to do make your new player and then play your way through their prelude now this only works in the second game in college so the fastest way to get to that point is just fall out of each game until you get to the second game of college the very first college game it's basically like a you know a scrimmage against your own team the glitch doesn't work there you guys want to play like i said your very first college game so you guys want to get to this point right here now with this glitch you guys can also change your jump shot you can turn off your meter and then you can also upgrade your player now if you guys can upgrade upgrade your player because you know you're going to start out, out as a at, and 60 overall if you can upgrade your player it is going to help you guys get your badges in this game a whole lot better being a 60 overall in this game really sucks because half the time the team wanted to pass you the ball and it's just you know kind of hard to hit shots but this difficulty is on pro you can definitely ball out as a rookie but it's a lot easier if you guys upgrade your player now once you guys get to the fourth quarter or the second half i'm sorry with under okay so look a lot of you guys are saying that this no longer worked because you were getting subbed out with like 40 seconds left. So here's what I'm going to tell you guys to do. First, once you guys get to a minute left in the game, save and quit and then close app. And then restart the game back up. And then if you guys can make it under 30 seconds without getting subbed out, just get to that point under 30 seconds, save and quit, close out the application, and then reload the game. Super easy and super simple. I don't know why, but sometimes like once you get under 30 seconds or so, they will take you out. Like I said, I'm not sure why. If it's a blowout, then maybe, maybe that's the reason. I'm not sure. But just to be safe, close out your application and save with a minute left. And then once you get under 30 seconds, if you guys don't get taken out of the game, save and quit and close out and reload that way. Either way is fine. It doesn't really matter. Now, just to get that out of the way, a lot of you guys are asking me if this worked in the second college game and as far as i know it does it does not you guys can let me know i don't believe it works in the second college game i believe it only works in this game right here now um like i said in this game whenever you're playing it you guys do want to ball out and you guys want to get as much bash progress as you possibly can if you're able to upgrade your shooting then you can really rack up like most of your shooting badges and you guys already know how it is you know it's pretty hard to get shooting badges on this game as is or you guys can go for finishing playmaking it doesn't really matter just whatever speeds up your grind because you guys know how the grind is this year it's extremely ridiculous and it's kind of sorry that 2k makes you first of all invest all this money just for one player after buying the game and then two you gotta ground the player and it just takes forever like it really is ridiculous hopefully next gen is better but once you guys load back into the game you guys just want to lift the game run out and then you guys will see you'll get your mob points and your badge progress and all that good stuff now once your vc loads up simple all you guys gotta do is just close out the application whether on xbox or ps4 it works the same exact way so like i said once you guys see your vc load up all you guys want to do is just close out the application and then reload the game back up now there is a count how many times you guys can do this a lot of you guys are asking me you know can you do it more than eight times no as far as I know, eight times is as many times as you can do it. And then once you get to nine times, it'll just give you zero bash progress. So a way you guys can beat that 
is um you guys can just come back 24 hours later because more than likely you're not going to be doing this on your main player anyway so come back 24 hours later reload the game back up and just repeat it eight more times every 24 hours until you get your badges that you want maxed out and each time you do this you're also going to get your mod points so that's just going to help your overall as well so this is just an extremely fast and easy way to grind any player especially a secondary player that you're working on because doing this glitch it's going to be faster than playing unless you're playing like eight hours of my career a day then doing this glitch is going to be a lot faster i know that a lot of you guys you know have work you have school you guys don't have time to you know grind a whole entire new player so doing this you know as your secondary player will really help you guys out and then once you load back in you guys will see for the second time your progression will double your my, your badge progress will double and then i'm not i don't believe your vc stacks up now i was working trying to work on a way to where we can do this in a limited amount of times if i'm able to get it to work then i will let you guys know but as far as i know eight times is as many times as you can do it but once you guys get your badge progress once once again all you guys gotta do is just close out the application and then you guys can reload the game back up and you guys can just repeat that over and over again until you get you know until you no longer get batch progress and then once that happens you guys can come back 24 hours later and just repeat it you know over and over again until you get the badges that you want so this is you know the most fire badge glitch and then there's a couple of my career ones but nothing you know none of those are too crazy i may post those but i'm trying to get the word around for this glitch right here because i do believe that this is going to be patched whenever patch 3 hits so like i'm like i've been saying just make sure you guys take advantage of it especially if you're you know working on a brand new player and then you know next gen is going to be out very soon so hopefully you know we can find another fire badge glitch for next gen as well but you guys will see once this game is over with once again you'll see your mod points triple and then quadruple and then you know so on and so on so yeah man you can we've already gotten two finishing badges almost three so yeah just make sure you guys ball out the only frustrating thing with this is if you do this with a 60 overall you guys can still score but you will have way more success if you're able to upgrade your player just a little bit like if you're going for shooting then just upgrade to shooting and you guys will be able to shoot a whole lot better and that's just going to help you guys get your you know your shooting badges but um once you guys get your badge progress all you guys gotta do is just once again go ahead reload the game back up and like i've been saying um there were people telling me it was patched because you got subbed because they got subbed out with under 20 seconds left which can't happen so i've already told you guys to work around for that i'm sure there'll be people in the comment section you know who didn't watch the video asking that same exact question and who you know if you see that just just tell them what's up bro because that's the best workaround for that just save and quit with a minute left and then if you guys get subbed out you guys can just close out that after you guys get your batch progress you guys can just close out and then it'll put you back in with with under a minute left which it may take a little bit longer for the game to end but either way you guys will still get your batch progress and you can repeat it you know eight more times so that's a workaround for that and a question that you know some people were asking me so yeah man um let me know if you guys have any other questions as well you guys i'll be bringing you guys the best glitches on nba 2k21 and uh yeah man just make sure you guys take advantage of this ASAP before it does get patched. And again, shout out to the homie JJ2K for letting me use his video. Make sure y'all boys go drop him a sub as well. Thank y'all boys so much for all the support, man. It really means a lot. Drop a like, drop a sub. I'm out. Peace.